Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Nice to see you again. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm fine too. So, how's your vacation, Anne? I don't know. I think I can make it better a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> okay. So, Anne, welcome to Teacher Shen's class. Okay. And welcome to Pantalo's class. Now, Anne, we will be using a flyer material. Okay. And um, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, that's good to hear. Now I'm going to share again the material to make sure, okay? Now, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. All right. Now, Anne, we will have a warm-up first, okay? Since this is our first class, so um, I want to say hello, okay? <laughs> now, let's talk about... Um, what are the different different ways to say hello? Okay, what do you see on the screen, Anne? I see uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, okay. and some food. <laughs> yeah, so different ways to say hello. You can say hi, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Now, if you want to say goodbye, okay, you can say goodbye. Bye or see you later, see you soon, see you tomorrow. Okay, now our topic for today's class and is hello friend, uh, goodbye friend, hello friend. Okay, this is unit one, hello again. Okay, hello, <laughs> hello again. So this is our topic, unit one, hello again. Now let's start. Okay, can you see the picture? Yes, I can see it. Now, look at the picture, Anne. How many children are there in the playground? Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven students. Seven children. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Do you think it's a child? It's a child. Uh, maybe a teacher. Yeah. <laughs> so therefore, there are how many children? One, two, three, four, five, six, six children. All right. There are six children in the playground. Now. What is the building that's behind the children? Uh, maybe the school. Yes, you're right. It's the school. Now, how many grown-ups can you see? Uh, one. One. Yes, there is one. And do you think she is the teacher? Um, maybe... Maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> What's your answer? Maybe. Uh, I what kind of teacher, but I don't make sure. <laughs> You're not sure. All right, and she is the teacher. Okay. Oh. Now, <laughs> let's proceed to the next slide. Okay. I want you to look at the picture and make a drawing like. You're going to locate where are this? Then there is one example, and the sky. You're going to find where is the seat, the skateboard, the backpack, the bicycle, the grass, the sunglasses, and the roof. And there is one example here, the sky. So that is how you are going to answer it. It's very easy. Now, can you draw a line in the screen, and The seat? Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's the sit in here, the cable in here, the pack bag, 
the bicycle, the sunglass, yeah, <laughs> and the roof there, right? What about the grass? Grass? Oh, in here. <laughs> Okay, the seat, the skateboard, the backpack, the bicycle, the grass, the sunglasses, and the roof. Okay. Okay, so is that the roof? Is that a roof? This roof? one? Is that a roof? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, make a line again. <laughs> Wait, tell me. Sure. The sky, the seat, the backpack, the bicycle, the glass. Sunglasses, the roof in here. Uh, Answer it. <laughs> this one, but this one, this one, this one. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what is a roof. Yes, I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, what about the skateboard? You didn't make a line. Where is the skateboard? The skateboard? Oh. Here? Okay. Now let's check your answers, your answers, Anne. Okay? You are not sure with the roof? Okay, I'm going to say that um, the roof is here. Wait. The roof is here. It's the okay. roof. It's the oh, the yes. roof is the one uh, like in your house. Okay, oh. you, <laughs> it helps you. Uh, that's the one. That, um, you it is the um the roof is um, the thing that covers your house. Okay, to make you safe from the sunshine, the sunlight, and the rain. Now let's oh. check. Okay. This is the seat, skateboard, the backpack, the bicycle, the grass, the sunglasses, okay, and that, the roof. Okay, you get one mistake, and Let's count your scores. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Because the sky is an example, so you got six over seven, okay? Yay. Okay. That's bad. Now, let's proceed to the next slide. Uh, this is uh, part two, a uh, letter B. It's a game. You need to find the differences between the two pictures, okay? <laughs> this is picture one and this is picture two. You can make a circle, okay? Circle the things that you see or the differences between the first picture and the second picture. Take your time. Okay. Um, what is it? Oh, here, the boy. The backpack. And the book. Oh, wait for me. Yeah, sure. Here. Okay, the pack pack. The boy. This pack pack. The glasses. The hand.
Okay. Okay, are you sure you are done? I see one, two, oh. I see more. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, what else? Mm. Look, look carefully. <laughs> I see one, two, one. three. Okay. I see three. Three? Oh no, four. I see four. So four. <laughs> Look carefully. I don't see anything else. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Here? Uh huh. Okay. What else? One. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. There are two more. Two more. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, this. I think this. One and two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're done? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm thinking I'm done. I give oh, up. Oh, you gave up already. Okay. So all your answers are correct, but I'm going to add the following. Okay, look at just look at the style of the dress of the girl. It's different, oh. right? And look at also the color of this. It's different. Okay, and you didn't see the the clock. Here it's nine o'clock, and here it's eleven wow. o'clock. <laughs> it's eleven o'clock. Okay, one. Two, three, four. So you missed four. Okay. So I'm going to add um, 15. Okay. I'm going to it's add just 15. Three. I just missed three. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. So your score now in. I'm going to give you 15 correct answers from, for the letter B. Your score now is 21. Okay. 21 over 25 okay <laughs> okay so let's proceed okay now this time let's have a vocabulary first okay sky you can write it down if you want to but if you don't it's okay okay i want you to listen how are you going to pronounce the word sky seat Seat. Skateboard. Skateboard. Backpack. Backpack. Bicycle. Bicycle. Grass. Grass. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Roof. All right. So remember, this is the roof. Okay, <laughs> it's the <Okay>. roof. <laughs> it's the grass, the skateboard, the seat, the bicycle, the backpack, the sky, and the sunglasses. Okay, tell me if you're done writing. I'm writing the word vocabulary. All right. Okay. So are you done? Yes, I'm done. All right, good job. Now let's proceed to the next slide. Okay, this in this lesson and we will talk about present simple and present continuous. Are you familiar with this? Okay, I'm going to write this down. <laughs> okay, so these are the following structure that we are going to use if we are going to write. At first, the present simple, okay? Press okay, power. I will write. Okay. Sure, write it down.
Okay, I'm done. All right. Now I'm going to explain to you the difference between present and uh, present simple and present continuous. Okay. We use the present simple tense when we want to talk about fixed habits or routines. Like for example, the things that don't change. Example is, I wake up, okay, I wake up every day. So that's a daily routine, you wake up every day. Now, another, and we use the present continuous to talk about actions which are happening at the present moment, but soon will finish. Okay, I'm going to send it in the chat box. The meaning are, are the difference between the present simple and the present continuous. Oh, okay, I'm going to send it to you. Here, okay, sent. <laughs> now, I, let look at the example N. Here it is. For the simple, for the present uh, simple, okay, for the positive sentences, you can say, uh, you can see that, mm -hmm, positive, I work, okay. He works or you work, we work, they work. So subject, and the verb, okay? Now for the negative, okay, you are going to don't or the doesn't, okay? That's the negative. I, you, we, they don't work. It means they didn't work. He, she, it doesn't work, okay? Now for the question, though they work, does he work? Okay, that's the question. For a short answer, if you're going to answer the question, you can say, yes, they do. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. For no, no, I don't. She doesn't. Now, for the continues, okay, look at the difference. Let's, uh, let's look at this. I work, okay? That's the present simple, I work. If you're going to make it a present continuous, it's I am working. It means I am currently working and it will end, it will end later. Okay, did you get the difference of the two example? Yes. Mm -hmm. I work, the present simple, and for the present continuous, it will become I am working. Okay. Now, can you give me an example, Anne, using um, the first structure only, the subject and the verb, and the present simple um, sentence? Okay. Present continuous and present simple. Uh, okay. Okay. Present continuous. Present simple first. Okay. Mm -hmm. She... She does his home her homework. She she does her homework. Like this? Yes. Okay. Now how are you going to make it into a present continuous? Present continuous? I am. I am going, I am going into the supermarket. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want you to, uh, this one, this is your present simple. She does her homework. Okay. I want you to make the sentence into a present no. continuous. Like the example. Our example is I work. Okay. No. Now, when, if you want to make it into a present continuous, you will write it like this. I am working. Now, the sentence that you give me is, she does her homework. 
How are you going to make this into a present continuous? She does her homework. Okay, and the present continuous is she doing her homework. Mm -hmm. She is doing. All right, that's right. And now uh, I think you already know how to make a sentence for uh, in the negative, right? And also yes. to the question. Okay, now let's proceed to the next slide. <laughs> Good job. Now, here are some example. Okay. I want you to read the ex first example of the present simple. Okay. I wash my hair every day. Mm -hmm. He usually gets up every early, very early. Yes. Okay, that's an example of a present simple in a positive sentence. Okay. You are doing it. Uh, it's a habit. Okay. It's a regular action or situation that it means you are doing it every day. It's a fact. It's a permanent situation or state. Now, here's the example. I have one brother. He lives in Paris. Now, that is true. Okay. Now, for your case, do you have a brother, Anne? Yes, I have a younger brother. Mm-hmm. So, it's a fact for you that you have a younger brother. So, it's true. Now, for the static verb, okay, do you know what our static verb and? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, wait for me. <laughs> I'm going to type it. May they do something? Um... No, it's a kind of verb. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Static verb. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Static okay. verbs are verbs that express a state rather than an action okay they usually relate to thoughts emotion relationships senses or the state of being and measurements okay these verbs are not usually used with ing uh, in the progressive or continuous tenses even though they make on time of expression such as now and at the moment okay and look at the example Give me the money. I need it now. Meaning, the need here, okay, is the static verb. You need it now. Oh, it expresses the use of the, uh, the uh, such an expression, okay, the time expression such as now, okay, I need it now and at the moment. Give me the money. I need it. So that's how. How we are we going to use the static verb? Now, for the future timetable events, the train leaves at 4. Mm -hmm. Another is the exams start next Monday. Monday. Has a problem? No, no. <laughs> okay. Now... For the signal words, you can use always, never, often, sometimes, every day, once a month, and other. Okay, and I'm going to send it to you. Um, ah, by the way, do you have Zalo? Yes, I have Zalo. Mm -hmm. Can you chat it to me? Because I will add you later, okay? okay. Give me your Zalo account so that I can send this to you later, okay? Okay. Okay. So 
Exacto. <laughs> All right. Um, here's my uh, here's my Zalo also. Mm. Are you in Vietnam? No. <laughs> no. Yes, I am in the Philippines. <laughs> I'm not in Vietnam. <laughs> okay, and let's continue. I'm going to send um, the image um, of the tenses later, okay? Now this, Anne, here's the example, okay? You're going to answer the following. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what is this like? Why, why is it like this? Here, look at the picture in B and read. And then you're going to write yes or no, okay? It's very easy. <laughs> Okay. okay, I want you to write your answer on the screen. Let's get the example. Write yes or no in the screen. Okay. Uh, only one the backpack is pink. Right. No, no, there no. Is a... Look at the direction you're going to write yes or no. Oh, yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Because I have to pink. There is a yellow moon on the girl's skateboard. No. You can see a lot of green cloud in the sky. We. No. It's why. Bob sit in the playground or brown. Oh, it's green. See? The seat is brown. There is a lorry in the kitball behind the school. No. You can see more than one coat. No. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. Are you sure you read properly the sentence? I think you... all of this is no. Because <laughs> only one of black backpack is pink. We have two the backpack in the scable. Mm -hmm. But the sentence is only one of the backpacks is pink. How many backpacks do, do you see? Oh, F1. <laughs> okay. How many backpacks do you see in the screen, in the picture? It's just have one backpack. So it's yes. Yeah, it's yes. Okay. I'll give you time to review your answer, and Okay, I'll give you time to review your answers. Read the sentence again. Okay, I'll give you time to review your answers. Okay, I'll make sure. All right. Only one backpack is pink. That is correct because she has the pink backpack. Now, there is a yellow moon on the girl's skateboard is no. That's correct. Okay. 
You can see a lot of gray clouds in the sky. Okay, that's no. You're correct. Both seats in the playground are brown. And that is? Yes. Okay. What seats? Mm, this is the first one and this is the second one. So, therefore, there are only two seats in the playground. And both of them are brown. Oh, I think <laughs> the glass is brown. <laughs> no, no, no. Look at the sentence. It's talking about... Um, the seats, okay? Seats. Both oh, seats seat. are brown. Oh, that's why I have it's, some problem. Okay. Yes, okay. So, therefore, I'll give you a mark answer here. It's a wrong answer. And No, there is a lorry in the road behind the school. Okay, by the way, do you know what is a lorry? Lorry, well, like, like, in the scape of this? No. There is a lorry in the road behind the school. Behind the school. Here. Yeah. Behind the school. There's a trap. There's a lorry. That's why the oh, answer this here. Is the lorry. <laughs> yeah. That's why the answer here is yes. Okay. <laughs> now last. You can see more than one cow in the field under the rainbow. Oh, where's your answer? Number six. Here. Oh, I need to share my color. All right. You can see more than one cow in the field under the rainbow is? No, because there is, there is only one cow. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. You got four correct answers and two mistakes. Your score is 21, right? 21 over 25. Now I'm going to add 4 on that. Okay. So your score now is 25 over mm, 32. <laughs> okay. okay. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. And it's our first class. I'm sure you will improve. Now, listen and write the answer, okay? This is a listening test, okay? I want you to listen and write your answer here in the blanks, okay? okay. I'm going to play it now. 1D. Hello again. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Is that your new game, Robert? Yes, but it's quite difficult to play. But you're really good at computer games. Not always. Shall I teach you how to play it? OK, yes. What's it called? Silver Moon. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. So, it's a new game. When did you get it? It was my birthday last Friday. My grandparents gave it to me when they came to see me that day. I really love it. Let me see. Can you play it with another person? Yes. My brother and I played it a lot yesterday. We had lots of fun with it, but he always wants to win. <laughs> so, who's that alien? The one on the screen? It's called Zappy. You spell that Z-A-P-P-Y. There's a website, too, where you can choose other aliens to add to the game. Wow! Its face is a funny colour green. Is its body green too? Yes, but its feet are orange. Look. OK, so what happens in the game? The alien hops from one place to another and you've got to give it food because it gets tired. It collects socks 
from different places. What do you mean? It loves socks. It takes them from washing lines in people's gardens and puts them in its backpack. It likes socks that are any colour, but red ones are its favourite. Hmm. I don't think I want to play it, Robert. Skateboarding is much more exciting. All right, I want you to listen to the recording again, Anne, okay? Of course. <laughs> listen carefully. 1D. Hello again. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Is that your new game, Robert? Yes, but it's quite difficult to play. But you're really good at computer games. Not always. Shall I teach you how to play it? OK, yes. What's it called? Silver Moon. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. So, it's a new game. When did you get it? It was my birthday last Friday. My grandparents gave it to me when they came to see me that day. I really love it. Let me see. Can you play it with another person? Yes. My brother and I played it a lot yesterday. We had lots of fun with it, but he always wants to win. <laughs> So, who's that alien? The one on the screen? It's called Zappy. You spell that Z-A-P-P-Y. There's a website, too, where you can choose other aliens to add to the game. Wow! Its face is a funny colour green. Is its body green, too? Yes. But its feet are orange. Look. OK, so what happens in the game? The alien hops from one place to another. And you've got to give it food because it gets tired. It collects socks from different places. What do you mean? It loves socks. It takes them from washing lines in people's gardens and puts them in its backpack. It likes socks that are any colour, but red ones are its favourite. Hmm. I don't think I want to play it, Robert. Skateboarding is much more exciting. Okay, let's check your answers, and Robert's favorite game, okay? The name of the game is Silver Moon. Okay, now, when did he got this game? It was last... Okay. Last, when was his birthday? 1D. Last Saturday. Hello. <laughs> Last Friday, okay? His birthday Friday. His birthday is on last Friday. Now, he played this game with his brother, okay? You're correct. So now, the name of the alien is What is this? You write Z E Double. I don't make sure. <laughs> okay, I, I'll give you a chance, okay? I want you, I will let you listen again the number three, four, and five, okay? Oh, again? Yes. What's it called? Silver Moon. My grandparents gave it to me and I played it a lot yesterday. We had lots of fun with it. But he always wants to win. <laughs> <laughs>
So, who's that alien? The one on the screen? It's called Zappy. You spell that Z A double P Y. There's a website too where you can choose other aliens to add to the game. Wow! It's very a funny color green. Is its body green too? Wow. Yes, but its feet are orange. Look. That's right. Okay, so what know. happens in the game? <laughs> the alien hops from one place to another, and you've got to give it food because it gets tired. It collects socks from different places. What do you mean? It loves. Where's your answer? <laughs> well, look, like, I click on it and I write and I don't see anything in my computer. <laughs> okay. Um, can you send it in the chat box? Okay. Okay. Your answer in number three, four, and five. What about number four, the color of alien's feet? We have this color. <laughs> It's only one. The, it's the it's feet. Only one? Yeah, color of alien's feet. Okay. This orange. Mm -hmm. And alien likes finding what? Finding food. All right, now let's check. Name of the alien in the game is Zappy, okay? Z-A-P-P-Y. Now the color of the alien's feet is orange and you're correct. Now alien likes finding, you said food, okay? I think it's not food because Robert said you need to give food you need to give them food because they are going to look for a socks especially the red one they like the color red socks okay and <laughs> you i'm going to consider your answer for number three now you got one mistake here oh no here two two <laughs> you get two mistakes <laughs> okay, your total score is 28 over, how is it? Plus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 42. Oh no, 32 plus 37 rather. 28 over 37. Okay. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's move on to the 1D. Hello. Okay. Let's read the re, let's read the tape script, okay? This is what you you have listened. Okay? I will be the girl and you will read the boy, okay? Okay. All right. Now, let's start. So, it's a new game. When did you get it? It's worth my birthday. Last Friday, my grandparents gave, gave it to me. When they come to see me that day, I really love it. 
Let me see. Can you play it with another person? Yes, my brother and I played it a lot yesterday. We had lots of fun with it, but he always wants to win. Ha, huh, so who's that alien? The one on the screen? It's called Zappy. You spell that Z A double P, -P and why? Where's a way best to when you <clears throat> can to other a land to add to the game? Wow, its face is a funny color green. Is its body green too? Yes, but its feet are orange. Look. Okay. So what happens in the game? The left hop from one place and other and you got to give it food because it gets tired. It's cornered shock from difficult pace. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It's love rock. It takes them from washing line in people gardens and pours them in backpack. It's like shock that or any color is red one is or is favorite. Hmm. I th I don't think I want to play it, Robert. Skateboarding is much more expecting. <laughs> All right, Anne, can you see the red lines? Okay, I can see it. Okay, and these are the words that you mispronounce while you are reading, okay? I want you to read it again and repeat after me. Me, it's came. Came. Came, and then there's a website. <coughs> there's website. a website, okay? And this one is aliens. Aliens. Okay. It collects. It collects. Less. Socks. Socks. From different places. From different places. All right. It collects socks from different places. Can you repeat? It collects socks from different places. It collects socks from different places. All right, good job, Anne. Now it's already time, okay? So let's meet again on Saturday, all right? Yeah. Okay, let's continue our class on Saturday. I'll see you again on Saturday and have a nice day. Oh, no, it's already night. <laughs> okay, eat your dinner. Okay, and good night in advance. Bye-bye, Anne. Good night. <laughs> see you on Saturday. Bye-bye.